Hey everybody, welcome back. I went up to the uh, Asian market today up at Lex. And I haven't been there in over a month since I had my mouth surgery. And uh, I was talking to her and everything. And, and I was trying to figure out something that I haven't done yet in a while that has to do with chicken. Because I got tons of chicken. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, she started making suggestions, curry and this and that. And so as I was fixing to leave, I reminded her, she said, is there something you want? And I says, uh, yeah, I says, I've got red and green curry. And, it, and her and the, uh, the haircut lady that works next next door, Brianna, says, uh, said, well, the red is hot. And then Lisa says, how about you do a yellow? It's not that hot. Because I don't want to fry my gums yet. <laughs> so, and Brianna says, yeah, it's really good. She says she puts uh, potatoes in it. And I'm still kind of eating soft stuff. So I thought, okay. And so I bought some. And as I was leaving, I almost went to the store. But then I said, I think I've got potatoes. Guess what? I didn't have potatoes. So, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do with what I got here, and we're going to see uh, what happens. And I bet it'll be good. So, what I've got in here already is some chicken and uh, some granulated garlic, because I didn't have any fresh garlic either. Um, and some granulated onion and some coarse ground black pepper and some pink salt and I'm fixing to put in a few cups of water And I already had a uh, coconut milk. I've already decided, you know, my doctor is going to be mad anyway, no matter what, uh, when she sees my blood test because I had to eat something. <laughs> you know, so. I've been eating a lot of miso soup, things like that, so uh, so I can guarantee you I'm going to put some, some of this uh, already chopped lemongrass in here, may add just a little bit of uh, lemon juice. what I'm going to do with all that these little twigs are actually soft but I'm going to pull them out anyway And of course, what else did I not have? Green onion. And that's not unusual. And I also have sesame oil in there. Just enough to coat the uh, chicken so that the
just enough to cook the chicken so that the salt and pepper and garlic and stuff will kind of adhere to the uh, chicken. And since I did not have potatoes, I'm going to have to use my uh, brown rice. And I'm going to use some carrots also, but I'm going to have to cut these carrots paper thin. Because like I say, I'm still on... Uh, Pretty much soft foods. I wanted something, for some reason I wanted something salty last night and I says, oh man, I got dill pickles. Man, I couldn't even eat a dill pickle. My jaw's just not strong enough yet. But it will be. I'm only doing four of these uh, carrots. Just to add some color, and I'm going to use some of the baby uh, colored bell peppers. Again, just to add some color. And the only reason I'm doing four of the little carrots because I don't want to stand here very long and uh, chopping things up. My back just won't cut it. Since these peppers are not hot at all, they're bell peppers, they're just colored bell peppers. I'm just going to throw them in there as such. Yeah, and I guess I'm, in a way, lucky I didn't have any uh, potatoes. Because I know my doctor would really cut loose on me. I'm not supposed to have anything white. Because white turns into sugars and sugars. Make sure, and I'm not even diabetic. I was pre-diabetic, but she took me off of that because my uh, blood sugar has been all right for quite some time. But it's probably going to be a little bit crazy the next uh, next blood A1C or whatever it's called. All that's probably going to be way off this next test. 
But I mean, what can I say? I have my eyes operated on. I've had my uh, mouth operated on now. And never did get the sinus, sinus one done. That at some point may happen. Who knows? The last time uh, I was going to get the uh, sinus surgery because I, I've got a, uh, a lump or a, a cyst or a tumor, they don't know, up in, in my sinus cavity. And So they called me at 2 o'clock the day before, 1400, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And they said, you're going to need an x-ray and some more blood work. And what else? Uh, an EKG it goes lemon juice, just because I like the taste of lemon in, in this type of thing. I want it in there early so that, uh, and I don't think I have any kaffir lime leaves. I might. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Dried pepper lime leaves. I guess I'll do without pepper lime leaves. I could probably try a couple of dried ones, and, and if they work, maybe I'll soak some overnight. Anyway, when they called at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> wanting all that done, I was like, that's not happening up here. I mean, I live, I live in a, a small town, and it just, you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so, then the virus broke out. And so that kind of saved me to where it wasn't like I was refusing to have the operation. I mean, I was ready for the operation because my nose sometimes just runs like crazy. It's hard to catch it. That was a joke. Never mind. Yeah, it, uh, and then it's hard to breathe a lot of times. So, we're going to, you know, at a different date and time, maybe I'll have it done. I'll be able to have it done. So, anyway, we're going to boil this down a bit. Now, I know a lot of people who have saved... Uh, the lemon juice for the last, but I want it to actually cook into the chicken, give the chicken more flavor, and I've done that this before, so, and it came out good, and now I've never used uh, yellow curry paste.
But Lisa and Brianna says it's not as spicy as the other, so I'll be good to go, I hope. <laughs> Smells good. So yes, I am inventing. You know what would be really good in here? And if you're not Filipina, if you're Filipina, you're like, yeah! There'd be some radish. A little taste test. It's not spicy at all. I mean, it's got a little bit of spice, but nah. I don't like the red and green. And before my mouth surgery, I mean, if y'all watched me, y'all saw how I. I mix red and green curry together. Hey, hey, hey. Guess what I have to round this out at the end? Some calamansi. Are y'all enjoying watching this? <laughs> Try counting the bubbles. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get it down just a little bit before I put in the uh, coconut milk. Kind of boil it down, thicken it a little bit before I put in the coconut milk and uh, so it'll be chicken with yellow curry and I put in a lot of galanga because I love galanga fresh and boiled like this to where it's soft. Oh my gosh, it's good. I love it. And of course, we have a fly flying around in here. I don't know where it came from because I think they're coming from the air conditioner. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have to add this to the end. Uh, but I bought one of those electric fly swatters. And for a while, I didn't think it was working. 
and because I get these little gnats and I know they come through the air conditioner through the uh, ductwork and vent and stuff and I would swing at them but it would blow the gnats away <laughs> so you know it's like fishing and scaring the fish away or something I was like this thing don't work and then uh, the other day I was just sitting there with it in my hand and I just moved it slowly towards this gnat and POW! It was loud. It, it, I'll tell you what it sounded like. Uh, those little pop rocks that you get at the little stores you throw on the ground and they pop. That's what it sounded like. It fried that gnat. And so I knew, found out how to do it then just slowly go around and for the flies I've got a bug light flies are really dumb <laughs> you know I'm sorry they are I got a bug light see did you see that fly go by anyway I got a bug light and they always get in behind the grill of the bug light where the light is it's going to fry them but they can't get out even though that it's open I'm like these things are dumb. I should probably, I know someone's going to get on to me for saying that. Someone's going to say, oh, you need to do, take a science class and flies are actually pretty smart and I can hear it already. Someone's going to critique me for saying that, but that's okay. Okay, this has got probably uh, maybe 20 minutes, and I'm going to have to cover the top so that stupid fly doesn't get in there. Although when I was in Marine Corps, I ate worse. But... We have people that have dogs outside, and I don't think they pick up the dog mess, and so it ends up having flies and everything else. And the rice is done. Yes, I did. I bought one of those nice rice cookers. I can cook rice in a pan like this or in a uh, smaller, you know, pan. And I can, uh, I've got two other rice cookers. One of them, I'm waiting until December because I actually contacted, tried to contact the people and uh, tell them that it's spewing hot water out the top and they never contact me back you know and then finally I saw something where some other guy uh, commented on on their site and said yeah they want uh, once you I think it's you have to pay $17 this is no joke $17 to ship it and you have to send them a money order for 17 more dollars to ship it back. And if they can't fix it, I think I think he said if it's uh, non-repairable, they'll send you another one. But most items are repairable, so they'll send you something that's, you know. But I never got any type of confirmation or any kind of response for them so and they got mad because I gave them a bad review on uh, Amazon what do they want me to do I'm just an honest nice guy but when you gaff someone off hey you know and I know they got mad but they never wrote anything back or you know I'm going to turn this down. 
and I'm going to give you all a break from listening to me until it's ready to put the coconut milk in and calamansi, which I think calamansi will work. Uh, I've tried the calamansi juice that they sell, you know, over the counter, and that's just too sweet. So this is fresh. So I think that'll do in place of a lemon or a lime. Okay, so we'll see y'all back when this is just about ready, and I'm going to put in the uh, um, coconut milk. So we'll see you back then. And we are back. Now if you look at this, it's, it's about the consistency that you want. Especially if you're going to put it over rice. I mean, you don't want it just too thick to where it won't go over rice. And you don't want it too thin. And remember, when you get this coconut, you got to shake it. Unless you're making a dessert. But if you don't shake it, it's going to be uh, kind of lumpy. And that's just the uh, the oils that collected. When you make put this in, you only want to stir one way. If you stir the other way, in the middle, I mean, you can stir. Counterclockwise, yeah. Just only do it one way for the whole time you're stirring. If you don't, you're going to end up with a, it's going to curve up on you. more lemon grass and I wish everyone out there could smell this it smells out of this world I'm cutting open the little uh, lemons or limes or calamansis.
And I'm going to say that this would probably be, it's probably going to be perfect. As far as the juice goes. Hey, that one's still sporting. <laughs> That's good. Keep on sporting. There you have it. Pull that off. That's a twig. Feel the power on that. You get a white fly, I promise you. Yes, I'm dishing it out. Now I'll try a little bit of everything on there. Get some of the juice. Put the lid back on. Hope that dumb fly doesn't get in. Calamansi on there. And pull out my tr trusty spoon. have it. If I can get the camera to quit bobbing around there. It smells good. It looks good. But I was also warned to make sure everything was completely cool. Because the uh, temporary stuff that I have in my mouth will not allow me to 
feel the heat until it hits my gums and so forth, and I don't want to burn mouth. And you know, when I was married to a Filipina, her whole family, they'd all eat at the same time, and it was a close-knit family. I was married to her for 17 years. I was married to her for 17 years, and uh, we'd all gather around the table and get up there and eat and everything, and I asked him, I says, you know, you're in Jacksonville, Arkansas, in the United States. You have silverware. Why are you eating with your fingers and stuff? And my brother-in-law, he was in the Marine Corps with me, and uh, he was Filipino. And he says, well, that's a simple way. I've got a simple answer for that. He says, if it's too hot for your fingers, it's too hot for your mouth. And I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> so here I was. I started eating with my fingers, too. But that marriage lasted 17 years. And so that was the end of that after that. So now I'm back to forks and knives and spoons and stuff. But hey. At least I learned how to cook really well through that experience. Okay, so y'all have a good one. And if it's uh, if you're living in a warm place, go swimming. If you're in a cold place, snuggle up and uh, take care. Don't forget to leave a comment and click like and hit subscribe. I love my subscribers and I try to answer all the comments. So don't be shy. Love you guys. See you later. Be safe.